called him Doug Peterson. Josh Peterson set up on the right side as well with Gore in the backfield. Evans calls for the football. We'll hand it off to Gore right up the middle. He's got a hole. He's at the 35. Gore breaks a tackle, fights for more, and gets to the 38-yard line. 13 yards and a Ronnie Ward Toyota first down. Seven-yard line. Another Ronnie Ward Toyota first down. Two receivers to the left, one to the right. Evans in the shotgun. And he will hand it off to Gore. Gore bounces out to the right side. He's got some room to the 40 and tripped up from behind. Five now for the Warhawks. Two receivers on each side. And a back of the backfield with Evans in the shotgun. Evans drops back, fires a pass over the middle. It's caught at the 20, at the 15. McCray will be hit, fighting for another yard. And he'll get to the 14-yard line. That's another Ronnie Ward Toyota. First down, and the Warhawks now tag. Just his 10th reception of the season. Two receivers each side. First and 10 for the Warhawks at the Coastal 14-yard line. Handoff will go right side across the 10 to the 5 and now down to the 4-yard line. I believe that was Marcus Green, and it was on the carry, or it should be enough for Ronnie Ward Toyota first down. We roll under 13 minutes to go in the first quarter. Three receivers to the left, one to the right. First and goal from the four, they'll hand it off. It's Vaughn, he stretches towards the goal line, and he will score. A four-yard touchdown for Austin Vaughn. That is his first touchdown of the season. The Warhawks strike first, six to nothing over Coastal Carolina with 12.48 to play in the first quarter. It'll be third and 12 now for the Chanticleers. Warhawks playing two safeties back near the sticks. Carpenter setting up a screen. It's completed at the 35. Getting up field, fumbles the football, it's loose. Warhawks pick it up and they will have it. Yeah. Marcus Hubbard on the fumble recovery for ULM and the Warhawks will have it on the plus side of the field. At the Coastal Carolina 42 yard line. Three receivers to the left, none to the right. Gore in the backfield with Evans in the shotgun. At the Coastal 42 yard line. Evans straight drop. Got a lot of time. He's one there down the middle is. field. Turner caught at the 25-yard line across to the 23. That's a Ronnie Ward Toyota first down. Onto clears first and 10 for the Warhawks at the Coastal 23-yard line. Two receivers to the left, one to the right. And they'll hand off to Gore. He's looking for room. He's at the 20. Gore at the 15 and forced out of bounds at the 12, maybe the 11-yard line by Claiborne. That's another Ronnie Ward Toyota first down. Gore will stay in the backfield with Evans. Calls for the football, and he will hand it off to Gore. Bouncing out to the right side. Great stiff arm. He's at the five, and Gore will die for the pylon. Did he get in? They're going to say he stepped out. No, touchdown, Warhawks. They give him the touchdown. Gore from 10 yards out, and the Warhawks at the moment tag take a 13 to nothing lead. To the right, Gore in the backfield with Evans in the shotgun. Now Green will go into motion. They flip it to Green. Green needs a couple of blocks on the right side. He gets a 45-40. Mar uh, Marcus at midfield into Coastal Carolina territory at the 42-yard line, and a late flag comes in as well. And five for the Warhawks at the Chanticleer 37-yard line. Three receivers to the right, one to the left. And a back of the backfield with Evans. Straight drop over the middle. It's caught at the 30. 25, That's 20, touchdown. 10, 5. Touchdown, Warhawks. That's what we Marcus need. Green. Marcus Green takes it to the house from 37 yards out. The Warhawks answer with the touchdown. It's now 20 to 10 ULM. They got him covered now. <laughs> Fourth and 19 for the Chanticleers back at their own 26 yard line. Snap is good and a high end over end kick. Green will take it on the run at the 38 yard line. Breaks a tackle. He's at the 45 at midfield. Green spins still on his feet and down. Here comes a late flag as he will go down half. Warhawks lead 21 to 10. Three receivers to the left, one to the right. Evans calls for the football. He will hand it off to the right side to Kayeen White. Breaks a tackle at the 40, 35, and down to the 32-yard line. That's a Ronnie Ward Toyota. First down for Kayeen White. Third down, seven yards to go at the Chanticleer 28-yard line. Evans will hand it right up the middle to Gore. He's at the 15. He's at the 10 and down so. to the six-yard line. A Ronnie Ward Toyota first down. <laughs> Peterson to hold. Snap is good. The kick is up, and it is good. These dual numbers and these disappearing numbers are hard for me to understand. Yep, absolutely. Second down, seven yards to go for Coastal at the ULM 40-yard line. And Carpenter will spin, and he will go down. He has sacked another Guerrero and Guerrero quarterback sack, as I believe that was Donald Lewis crashing in there, and I believe David Griffith will get credit for a half of a sack as well. The Warhawk 37-yard line. They got a couple extra yards on the advancement of the fumble. Two receivers to the left, two tight ends will shift to the right now. 
Carpenter in the shotgun. Straight drop. And some pressure, and he'll go down. Good. He is sacked. Jalen Feasley with his first sack of the season. Another Guerrero and Guerrero quarterback sack. The Warhawks will get the football on down. 24 to 20 over Coastal Carolina. Second down and a short six. Two receivers on each side. Evans will fake the handoff, looking to go downfield for Green, and it is caught oh. by Marcus Green. He took what? it away from the Coastal Carolina defender. He took away the pass, made the catch on what should have been an interception tag. Gore will stay in the backfield with Evans. Two receivers to the right. There's one receiver that's not, a, not covered. Evans will run the football, and he will get in for the Good. touchdown. Caleb Evans with his fourth rushing touchdown of the season. The Warhawks now lead 30 to 20. And 11 for Coastal at the Warhawk 49-yard line. Carpenter slaps his hands, calling for the football. He's pressured, and he will go down another Guerrero and Guerrero quarterback sack. The fourth of the night, that was Laurent Shaw with his first sack of the season. In college, it's just a 15-yard penalty. So they do have it at the red zone at the 17, but Hubbard with the smart play to not allow the touchdown right there after getting beat. Three receivers to the left, and Carpenter pumps, looking to go towards the end zone, wide open, intercepted! Boy, what a play what a there play. by the Warhawks. Jabari Johnson came out of nowhere tag to pick that football off. Once they set the football, they'll wind the clock again. Third and three, big one right here. They'll hand it off to the bus, and he'll get the first down up near the 35-yard line. A huge run by Austin Vaughn to move the sticks. A Ronnie Ward Toyota first down in the backfield with Evans in the shotgun. Straight drop. Evans fires a pass over the middle. McCray makes the catch. He's across midfield, 45-40. Gets a block, 35-30. And down to the Coastal Carolina, 25-yard line. Marquise McCray with a 35-yard reception. He won to 20 over Coastal Carolina. Two receivers to each side. Evans in the shotgun. He will keep the football himself, 15. Evans at the 10. Evans at the 5, and he will score. His second rushing touchdown of the night, Caleb Evans from 20 yards out. The Warhawks add to the lead now, 37 to 20. Left, one to the right. Fred Payton, the freshman, in at quarterback, in the shotgun. He'll roll to his left, looking downfield, and now fumbles the football. As he was trying to throw it, it slipped out of his hands. It looks like the Warhawks will have the football. Sam yeah. Miller will recover the football. That is his second fumble recovery of the year, and that will do it, Tag. Came out of a dark place and came here and made it happen tonight. And it's certainly to be commended on it, the coaches and all the players. Second and four. They'll hand it off to Gore once again. He bounced it to the outside at the 40, 35, 30. He's at the 25, 20, 15, 10, 5. Gore will score his second touchdown of the football game. That is a new career high for Derek Gore. Two touchdowns and now over 150 yards on the ground. The Warhawks now lead 44 to 20.